Warm welcome to the latest Onco Shorts podcast, brought to you by Med Synapse. Onco Shorts is a weekly program covering a wide range of clinical and scientific medical content that offers enriching insights into the world of oncology. In today's episode, we will be discussing the details from phase 3 of the Vision trial, which investigated the efficacy and safety of a radiolicin therapy lutetium-177 prostate-specific membrane antigen-617, in patients with prostate-specific membrane antigen-positive, or PSMA, metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. PSMA, is a transmembrane glutamate carboxypeptidase, that is highly expressed on prostate cancer cells. Metastatic lesions are PSMA, positive in most patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, and high expression has been independently associated with reduced survival. Lutetium-177 prostate-specific membrane antigen-617, or LUPSMA-617, delivers beta-particle radiation selectively to PSMA, positive cells and surrounding microenvironment. This radioligand therapy has been associated with encouraging biochemical and radiographic response rate, reduced pain, and low toxicity in multiple early phase studies, involving patients with progression of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, after standard therapy. The VISION trial was an international, prospective, randomized, open-label, multicenter, phase 3 study. Eligible patients were adults, who had PSMA, positive metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, and at least one metastatic lesion on baseline computed tomography, or CT, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, or bone scan imaging. Disease progression after previous treatment with one or more approved androgen receptor pathway inhibitors, and with either one or two taxane regimens was required. Patients were randomly assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive either LUPSMA, 617, plus protocol permitted standard care or standard care alone. In the first group, the patients received intravenous infusion of LUPSMA, 617 at a dose of 7.4 gigabecquerel, once every six weeks, for four cycles. Two additional cycles were administered, at the discretion of the treating physician, in patients who had evidence of response. Out of the patients enrolled, 831 patients were judged to have met all the trial eligibility criteria. 581 were assigned to the LUPSMA-617 group, and the rest to the standard care group. Imaging-based progression-free survival and overall survival were alternate primary endpoints. Overall survival was defined as the time from randomization to death from any cause. Among the 581 patients, the median imaging-based progression-free survival was 8.7 months in the LUPSMA-617 group, as compared to 3.4 months in the control group. The median overall survival among all 831 patients who had undergone randomization was 15.3 months in the lutetium-177 prostate-specific membrane antigen group, as compared with 11.3 months in the control group. The incidence of adverse events of grade 3 or higher during treatment was higher in the LUPSMA-617 group than in the control group. Fatigue, dry mouth, and nausea were the most common adverse events in the LUPSMA-617 group, and these adverse events were nearly all of grade 1 or 2. Treatment with LUPSMA-617 group prolonged overall survival in a population of patients with disease, who were refractory to androgen receptor pathway inhibitors and taxane chemotherapy. The trial also reported low incidence of adverse events that led to dose reduction, interruption, or discontinuation, which is consistent with the safety profile in the early phase studies. Dr. M. J. Morris, lead vision trial author, commented that LUPSMA-617 can be safely added to the standard of care treatment. He also stated, that the benefits of improved radiographic progression-free survival and prolonged overall survival, compared to standard of care, in men with advanced PSMA, positive metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. This concludes our today's podcast, 
brought to you by MedSynapse. Thank you for listening.